In this episode, I'm going to show you how I film my YouTube videos. Let's rise. Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New podcast every Tuesday, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to The Rising to Be Show, the only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be, helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired so that you can reach your goals. I upload new videos and podcasts every single week, so be sure to subscribe as a riser so you won't miss out on anything. Watch next week's episode at patreon.com forward slash rising and be. There's three tiers to choose from. Save 40% on our workbooks and printables using code Juneteenth40 at risingtobe.com during our semi-annual sale in soon. Now let's get into this episode. Riseintobe.com has finally arrived. Shop for printables to help you rise to be your best self. Listen to our podcast that has been heard in over 60 plus countries. Watch one of our videos on our YouTube channel with over 50,000 views. Join our Patreon for exclusive and early access content. Check out our about page to schedule a consultation with me. Review our sponsorship information and sign up to be a featured podcast guest. All this and more available now at Riseintobe.com. In honor of National Camera Day, today's video is going to be about how I film my YouTube videos. It may only take a few minutes for you to watch or listen to an episode of Rising to Be, but a lot goes into each episode. So in today's episode, I will show you exactly how I get it done here at Rising to Be. So let's get started. Tip 1. Research, research, research. Before I touch my camera or even clean my desk to be camera ready, I first start by researching what the video will be about. I typically go according to my content calendar to know which videos to do next, and those video ideas usually align with popular social media holidays. Hence why you are getting this very episode on National Camera Day, giving you a behind the scenes look on Rise and Be, and also insight for those who may want to start their very own YouTube channel or podcast. Because when I was looking to start a channel and a brand, I definitely had no idea where to start first. Which is why I strongly suggest researching because it is the most important part of the video making process. Everyone researches differently. I usually get most of my video ideas by looking at other channels in my genre. Looking through their most popular videos and thinking of ways that I can bring that topic to my channel in my own way. My channel is still kind of new, so I am still trying to figure out which videos will be annual videos and how others will just be one and done. Some of my recurring videos you'll see here on the channel are things like my Apple Watch Tips video that came out last week and I'll leave that above, and planner must-haves because they can easily fit in with the holidays and are often highly viewed during those times in the year. Once my topic is finalized, I try to figure out if this will be a big list video with 10 plus mini tips or a shorter list with 4 to 5 tips with a bonus tip mixed in. And then I make a very large cup of tea or coffee and then get straight to writing. Whenever I get stuck or need a bit of clarity on a topic, I research solutions that align with the values of Rise and Be. Tip 2 Scripts. Now although the midweek episodes are scripted, I will say that they are not entirely scripted. In most of my episodes, I add a few extra tidbits or examples I forgot to mention while writing. I make sure to include my thumbnail for the upcoming video, a screenshot of the comment of the day I'll be reading later on in my video, and lastly, any active sales or new products I have at RisingTV.com, which reminds me our Juneteenth sale ends soon. Use code Juneteenth40 at RisingTV.com for 40% off our workbooks, planners, and printables. Shameless plug. But anyway, my scripts hold so much. I'm sure you've noticed that there are a lot of things that go on here at RisingTV which is why I humbly use a script to remember very important things I need to mention in my videos and podcasts. And I'm sure you're wondering how I read my script. And well, I use the Parrot teleprompter that fits right on the lens of my Canon T7i camera. Just in case you're wondering, the link is in the description box. And for those who feel as though a script is a crutch, it isn't. The journalists you see on the news often use a teleprompter. They use it to ensure that they are sharing the most accurate information, since they know that whoever may be watching or listening relies on them for a strong source of information. Tip 3. Thumbnails and recording. So I'm sure you may have noticed that the thumbnails for my videos kind of have a distinctive design and also a formula that I stick to. If you look at my thumbnails from last year, you will clearly see how amateurish they look. And maybe they look good to you and they also look good to me at the time. But I noticed that the design didn't exactly convert into views or even subscribers. They were kind of all over the place. Just a solid 
background colored with blocky lettering and awkward poses because I still wasn't that comfortable on camera. Now one thing you may also notice about them is that I am either wearing no makeup or just plain bad makeup. Is my makeup perfect now? No, but it has definitely improved. Yes, sometimes you may see my lash hanging, but that is because my house is ridiculously hot, so the glue decides to stop sticking sometimes. I usually try to do a pose that matches the theme of my videos. I throw that photo into Canva, which I suggest you use Canva Pro, so that you can use the remove background feature from my picture. Then I size it to fit on my pre-designed template. And lastly, I add text and photos that help to describe the video. Pro tip, a lot of my thumbnails are usually done way before I write the script for my video, which is why I usually take an entire day to take thumbnail photos. Kind of like how people take an entire day for creating Instagram Reels, it's great if you're someone who loves to batch content and have it already done. Believe it or not, but I had my thumbnails from January all the way to August done. And for some reason, I decided to stop there because I wasn't really sure I needed to plan that far ahead. And yet here I am at the end of June with no thumbnails ready for September through December, like I had planned. So if you can take all of your thumbnail photos for the year, I strongly recommend it so that you can instead focus on batch recording, which is definitely something I'm trying to get back into. Once my script is done, I simply copy and paste it from Google Docs and drop it into my Parrot Teleprompter app, as I mentioned earlier in my video. And then I set up my camera stand, which is actually a converted light stand to help me film my top-down Saturday planner videos. If I can find the video where I learned how to do this, I will make sure to include it in the description. And then plugging in my camera using a pluggable battery for extended filming so that I can film a bunch of videos at once. And lastly, setting up my angle for my video so that I can begin recording episodes just like this. Tip for editing. I know a lot of YouTubers here on the platform use many paid editing platforms like Adobe Premiere Pro, Apple's Final Cut Pro, and whatever else is out there. But I use Apple's iMovie. Why? Because it's already on my computer and a lot of my favorite YouTubers don't pay for editing software. People like Grand Stefan, who at the time of this recording has 3.2 million subscribers on his main channel and 742,000 subscribers on his second channel. So with that being said, I think we can all collectively agree that you can use a free editing software and still grow a following on YouTube. Editing is truly a skill and my video editing skills have definitely improved immensely. I don't nearly take as long as I used to with my Wednesday videos. It used to take an average of two days to fully complete them and one day for my Saturday planner videos, which definitely took up a large chunk of my time. I just recently learned and realized that I can easily speed through whenever I mess up or stutter in my videos. I learned this from Think Media's YouTube channel. If you haven't heard of this channel and you're looking to start a YouTube channel or even a YouTube career of some sort, I'm not really sure where you've been because this channel is amazing. I went to their conference last year virtually, of course, and I strongly am considering attending their next one in August. Not sponsored, of course, but I definitely stand by their advice. But most of my video editing involves me cutting out mistakes and smoothing out whatever may look bad in the final video. Sometimes I catch everything and sometimes I don't. Oh well, I've made over 100 plus 50 videos on my channel and still I don't have a thousand plus subscribers. Yes, we are close, but this channel is definitely not monetized like other YouTubers you see here. All of the graphics you see on my videos are custom made by me. I currently do freelancing YouTube graphics on Fiverr and link below. So if you're looking to boost your branding, I highly recommend it. And not just because I do this as a service, it just helps to boost the professionalism of your channel overall. Tip 5. Promotion. I promote the content from Rising to Be in several different ways. I press the share button immediately when my videos are live, then I add my Wednesday videos to my home page for new subscribers to see when they land on my page. I post moving thumbnails to promote my podcast and YouTube videos using some of the same hashtags I used in the making of my video. And this not only helps to promote my content, but also helps in building my social media accounts like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And you can find me at Rising to Be on all platforms except Twitter at I am Rising to Be. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I just want to share the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from YouTube commenter students ace life. Love this. I will absolutely try out these tips this season. It gets really stressful all of the events and I often forget the essence of it. Let's be more grateful this season. Two shooting star emojis. Thank you so much for your comments students ace life.
Want to be featured as the next comment of the day? Simply leave a comment on a YouTube video or leave a review on wherever you listen to podcasts. Now back to the show. If you've made it this far into the episode, share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them rise to be who they want to be. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap just in case you missed a tip. Tip one, research, research, research. Tip two, scripts. Tip three, thumbnails and recording. Tip four, editing. And tip five, promotion. Thank you. Do you want even more Rise in a V in your life? Then join the Rise in a V Patreon. It helps you support the channel and other forms of content. There's three tiers to choose from. Starting as low as $4. So here's a breakdown of tier one. You get access to the monthly wallpapers for your computer and phone to keep you motivated and inspired all month long. You get to choose one monthly video topic and of course you get a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier two has access to monthly wallpapers. You get to choose one monthly video topic, early access to videos, and of course a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 3 has access to the monthly wallpapers. They get to choose two monthly video topics and one podcast topic. Early access to videos and podcasts, a Patreon shout out in my next video, and of course exclusive access to my printable collection from my Etsy store, Rising to V. And it's only available through Patreon and Etsy, so this is something you really want to jump on. There are three tiers to choose from. I plan on adding even more as we go along. So I hope you'll consider joining the Patreon risers. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Thanks so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. I hope this episode was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review which tip you'll be using. Watch next week's episode early by joining my Patreon for exclusive content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com. And remember to keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye, risers.